Live from the studios of KMBY Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey On Tonight with Gary Morris. Three hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guest. And a few surprises along the way. And now, here's your host, Gary Morris. Miss Selena's Rodeo, Miss Selena's California Rodeo. Yes. 2022. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having it, me. It's so nice to have you. And you're going to be here a long time. Yes. Yeah, three hours you're going to be yep, here. I'm all me. yours for three hours. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> because she told me when just before we came on the air that she was on KSBW, but they only did like a few seconds. Oh, yeah. Just a few seconds. Yeah. My brief moment Come of fame. Come on, you you <laughs> you deserve to have a whole three hours of television. Thank you. I des I deserve it sometimes. And I want to <laughs> I want to talk to you about how you became Miss California Rodeo, twenty twenty two. How did that all happen? Oh Lisa? my goodness! It was it was a lot of work. I've been doing a rodeo queen. Um, interviews and queen contests since a young age of 13 and ah. yes i'm 22 now almost 23 You've been in december doing a while. yes very yeah. very long time but it took a lot of preparation and finding the right horse and getting the right rhythm and doing mock interviews and sitting down and studying my butt off oh, and it wow. finally paid off i you must love horses i do that's my only talent <laughs> was that your first love um besides food yes <laughs> Yes, it was. Well, you're funny, too. Thank you. Yeah, well, my little uh, granddaughter has f just fallen in love with horses. Good. Audra is now eight, and she's riding. Oh, good. And she's, of course, in Atlanta. She's not oh, here. I wish she was here. Because then I'd introduce her to you. I would love to her, meet her. You would give her some tips, I'm <laughs> sure. But... Um, so you just had a passion as a young girl for, for horses? I have. My um, mom actually was, when she was younger, but when I was a little girl, but she had her very first horse. He was a paint horse, and his name was Casper. And me and him got along very well, and it kind of fueled my fire to really to get into riding horses. And then I met my friend Morgan Laughlin. Was, she was actually last year's Miss Rodeo California. Ah. And I went to one of her queen contests, and it blew my mind. It's pretty much a beauty pageant on your horse. Ah. Yes. But they don't mind if you get a little dirty. So uh, well. <laughs> that's what I kind of liked. Yeah, <laughs> lots yes. of fun. Yes, no, it's a lot lots of fun. Lots of fun. Where did you go to school? Um, from... I transferred a lot from a little couple middle schools, just moving around town, and I graduated from Livermore High School, and Livermore. then oh, I, wow. yes, and then I was at Las Positas College, just in Livermore for a little while, and then I moved down here to be closer to school. So right now I'm attending Cuesta College down in San Cuesta. Luis. Oh, good yes. for you. Yes, yes, no, and it's your super fun. You live in King City. I do. So yes. King City is quite a drive from it is. Monterey. It is, but it's totally and worth it. And then how far is it to college? Um, about like a good hour, hour and a half, oh, but wow. everything, I'm doing everything online right now. Oh, you are? Yes. That's Thank great. goodness. That great? Yes. That is so super. Yes. My one blessing from COVID because I'm yeah. very an independent learner. So. Now, did you get COVID? Uh, yeah. yeah. Me too. I did. Mine <laughs> I did. Was it was, yeah, it was very painful. My legs hurt. Oh, Yeah, geez. the body aches. Do you have any repercussions from that now? I mean, no. is there anything? Nothing. No, I was totally it fine. Went, it all went away. It was, it was weird. I was totally fine. And then, like, within an hour, I was, I couldn't move. Oh, jeez. Yes. So it, yeah, you know, it's and it affected, lasted for two weeks. It's affected people all different ways. Yes. And those are, there are people who actually have gotten it a couple of times. I mean, yes. Thank goodness I didn't. Yes. But my bout was really bad. It's I'll tell you about terrible. it during the break. But, uh, no, it's so nice to have you yes, here. Yes, thank you for and having me. we'll talk about horses tonight. I would love to. Because Audra's watching in yes. Atlanta. Yes, So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna talk about, all about horses. Audra, look yes. at this. My goodness. <gasps> yes, this we're going to talk. This could be you, you someday, darling. It will be you. Yeah. <laughs> Just got to dream big. <laughs> That's it, dream big. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to have you thank here you. tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we're going to be talking all through the evening about your career, Good. your next career, whatever yes. that's going to be. Oh, I have big dreams, so yeah, yeah. we're going, well, we we're going far. We want to hear about Good. that. Good. I all will right. tell you all about it. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, let's get started with the music. This is a music and talk show, Monterey On Tonight. As I said, this is our ninth show in this series, series of we don't know how many. But <laughs> we're going to start off tonight, and uh, this is some, someone I hope you might recognize. He's no longer with us now, but... His name is Kenny Rogers, and he did a really great 
song back probably in the 80s called Through the Years. So we're going to start playing Kenny's song to kick off tonight, Monterey on Tonight. Let's go play the music. <laughs> And that's Michael Bublé and Home, and you like that song. I do. Didn't you? It's yeah. a classic. It's a classic. I sing song. it when I'm home. And you know what she <laughs> said? She picked it up right away. She said, and he was really young then. He is. He is. <laughs> he's a lot older now. Yes, but he's so cute. Hey, he is. Michael <laughs> Bublé. Mason, you uh, and I were chatting when the music was playing about your passion and how you got involved at a young age with horses. Tell us about that. Yeah. How did that happen? My mom, I got to give it all to her. I was uh, the young age of 13, and my mom was riding horses uh, when she was pregnant, and it kind of just... Pregnant with you? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Yep. That, that must have done it. It, it did. She yeah. threw me on the back of a horse before I could even walk, and she I was, was holding on to the mane for dear life, and well, now we're just spitting fire here. Isn't that great? <laughs> that, that's wonderful. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the, uh, Audra has a passion now uh, that, that she just loves horses. And I think it actually had something to do when, you know, Barbies and, and little horses yes. to play with. Yes. Well, what was, the story goes that uh, Charlie, who's in the other room, is our account executive. Okay. And um, he had put an ad, I guess it was Craigslist, to sell some of the toys from his children. And some of them were Barbies and horses. And Audra got a hold of the horses when she was just really young and fell in love with horses. Yes. And, and I, you know, I, I, I thought about that whole story about how children and you being young became attached to animals and, and just loved them so much. Yes. No, I definitely had the same exact hobby as Audrey did. Is that her name? Yes. Audra. Audra. Audra, Audra Very Bell, beautiful. Actually. I love that. I love yeah. that. It's really pretty. It's unique. Do you have a middle name? Elizabeth. Mason Elizabeth. Yes. It took yeah. me a while to spell it because I never needed to use it. And I was like, how do you spell Elizabeth? <laughs> and you know, you made, know a, you made a joke when I said, now, is it Mason? You said, I, well, how did you, how did your mom give you that name? She said, oh, probably from a Mason jar. Yep. The Mason jar in the cabinet full of jelly. Yep. <laughs> I love funny. going. Yes. I you love really going to the Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh, that's my jar. That's my jar. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. You're a pistol. Thank you. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> yeah, so much fun to have someone like Mason on this show. It just kind of just makes it all worthwhile to do this. Well, thank you. Yeah. And you've got an audience out there, you yes. know. And as I said earlier, we're going to put this one on YouTube. Oh, good. I so love YouTube. So you can give everyone the link <laughs> and you can say, hey, you want to see my performance on television? Right here. Go to this link. Oh, perfect. Oh, Wouldn't my, that be fun? my family will love that. And you know what? Those folks at KSBW, they didn't know what they were doing, only giving you a minute. I know. How dare they? Yeah, it's terrible. I was like, do they know how much I can talk? <laughs> <laughs> I can go on and on. I bet they probably knew that. That's why they cut uh, me short. Oh, well, <laughs> well, yeah, you know, their airtime is very expensive. Oh, yes. Ours is not. Okay. So we, we have a, a lot of free airtime here. <laughs> we can go on. On okay. and on and on and good, on. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right, we'll go play one more song. Yeah. And then we're going to br bring in our first guest, Perfect. Carl Christensen from the Monterey Pops. Oh. We're going to have him on for a little bit. Oh, perfect. So you can go out and have some pizza. I would love to. All right, great. Let's play one more <laughs> song, Dylan. Well, that was Neil Diamond, and he's oh. been around a long time. And uh, the music that we play on this show is Digging Back into the Archives. And Excellent. Uh, it's for our Monterey On Tonight audience. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Carl Christensen from Monterey County Pops. Pops. Did I do it right? Yeah, exactly Because right. I didn't want to say exactly. Monterey Pops. It's Monterey County Pops. Actually, the screen should have said Monterey County Pops. Well, that's, that's okay. Pretty close. Anyway, <laughs> Carl was recommended to me by Elise Rothschild. Did I say that right? Rochford. Yeah. Rochford. And she said, uh, let's get some publicity for these folks at Monterey County Pops. I said, absolutely. She was one of my guests yeah. not too, too yes. far back. And we talked about all kinds of music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and her career in music. And, you know, her we even fun. dug out that night Mario Lanza yeah, yeah. and played Mario. Yeah, People well, go, she, who's that? She worked for Pavarotti. She <laughs> did. Yeah, the three tenors. She had yeah. quite a career. Yeah. But you're here tonight to talk okay. about music. How did you get involved in Monterey Pop, like Monterey County Pops? Well, I taught music at Hartnell College starting in 1981. 
But before that, I lived in Mexico City for 10 years, and I played trombone in professional orchestras in Mexico oh. City. So I can speak Spanish. Oh, Espanol. And uh, uh, so we had summer concerts starting in the 80s uh, at the Navy School. Uh -huh. And we had a, a benefactor who funded three orchestral concerts, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and Labor Day. And Mr. Jack Bays, another trombone music educator, <laughs> and I used to split, the, split it. Uh -huh. And we did that for many years, and then along came 9-11 and other things, and all of a sudden the Navy School wasn't possible. Uh -huh. So we branched out, and then we decided to change the name to be more inclusive, to get rid of the word symphony, so we are Monterey County Pops, and we, can, we have a, a pool of players who can be anything. They can be a dance band, they can be a concert band, an orchestra. How many people are involved in well, that? Well, it, it varies. We did a New Year's Eve concert at the Golden State with 40 people. And we did uh, City Hall Lawn in Monterey for Memorial Day with uh, also 40, but a band because we're outside. So if we're outside, we don't have strings. If we're inside, we have strings. strings. Oh. And then uh, we were in, in uh, been in between there. And in May, we went down to Greenfield High School with 20 people uh -huh. and did what I call a residency we, where we work with the kids in the afternoon. How and then great. we do a joint concert with the kids. Carl, that's great. In the evening. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And it was funny because my board asked me, they said, well, how do the pros feel about working with the students? And I said, they love it. I mean, yeah. all, all musicians teach, sure, and course. it's fun to work yeah, with. Yeah, them. yeah, and yeah. And that gets the young people involved. Yeah, yeah. And we actually, on our website, MontereyCountyPops.org, we have a nice video of a, us working with the students. And I, I'm just recommending that to people. The, the, what is the website? MontereyCountyPops.org. Org. MontereyCountyPops.org. Go to the website. Here we are. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan. All uh, right. Now, yeah, and there then, it is. And there's some videos on there. Yeah, that one that says Gon Gonzales you know, High School. Second, do the second one if you want to. Uh, can we play Greenfield uh, High School uh, and put that on, Dylan? And you, um, yeah, let's see what happens. There we go. Can we get any audio? Yes. I will need to. Yeah, there's all. You'll have to. Yeah, let's. That's fine. Go ahead. He's going to. I'm here with the Monterey County Pops. We are playing a concert with the Greenfield um, High School students. And to give them a chance to hear professional musicians and pick up a few tips from us. We are uh, playing with the advanced band, the beginning band, and the choir. Trying to encourage young musicians to improve their playing and get excited about playing. We want to, them to be involved and that's why we go in the afternoon and do workshops so that we can perform this concert together and not just have them passively watching us perform. The day went amazing. Uh, the kids had a rehearsal um, right after school with, with the Pops. Uh, we did that for a while. We actually stopped for a period of about a half an hour to do a clinic with the students who were here to play. In the trumpet section, we worked together. We worked on intonation and some of the mechanics of the slide. And so we, we just kind of, kind of found out, you know, in a very short time, what they needed. What could we do, you know, help their embouchure, help their fingering. How to make sure that they're paying attention to the dynamics in the piece and really adding that little bit of excitement into the music that they're playing. So they, they also watched us play and we played with them. Playing next to the professional musicians was pretty cool. I never thought i will ever get to do that in my life. And the kids here, they were all excited about what they have, not what they don't have. And we got fed, burritos, that was the awesome part for the kids. Um, and then we finished off with a night concert. Some of the instruments the kids had never seen in their lives and they got a chance to go and spend some time with a professional saxophone player and talk about playing the baritone saxophone or playing the tenor saxophone. Most of them, they're, they're just really tuned in to us uh, as we demonstrate how to play a certain note or how to count a certain rhythm and they're, they're just ready to get it. When we were able to break out into groups with the professionals, she taught me a lot about my posture and my embouchure and where to hold my fingers, and it was just really helpful for me. I like their breathing techniques, and I just wanted to learn more about that. Yeah, they taught me a lot of things and how to play better. One thing I learned was how to breathe better with the trombone. A good experience, I hope, for them. And, and for us, we love to share what we love. We tell them stories that uh, basically we, we had to hear 30, 40, 50 years ago. So we're, we're passing, the, we feel like we're passing the torch. Whenever I perform music with 
Okay, that is available on your website. <coughs> yeah. And we just played a little snippet there for the folks. But what you're doing for these young people, Carl, is absolutely amazing. Well, we, we have a two-part mission statement, and doing free public concerts of pops and patriotic music is the first half, but the second half is working with especially underserved students, especially down the Salinas Valley. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we do both. And is it, do, do you get these young people, do you have to go out and recruit them to come in? How does that happen? We, we pick schools that have a music teacher. Oh. And so I go down and meet with a music teacher. They pick some music that would be good for us to play together. I see. And, and I send it out to my players beforehand. And then one of the things we do, we do workshops on basic techniques, breathing, embouchure, all these things. And then we rehearse together, and then we do a concert together. Oh, my goodness. We, now, when it, is your next concert? Is okay. one coming up? Now, what's coming up is a Labor Day concert in Salinas. And it's very special because there's something called the Music Performance Trust Fund. A few cents out of each recording that's sold goes into a trust fund that's administered by the AF of M to fund free concerts. Oh, and so wow. this is it'll so be So this is going to be a free concert on September the 4th in it, Salinas. Yes. At it, what time? It's we're there rehearsing from 10 o'clock so people can come by and hear some music. It's a park so bring a lawn chair. Okay. Then the actual concert without stopping will be at two o'clock two o'clock and how long will it go about a little over an hour hour okay. 15 okay and and it's it's celebrating labor day the union in san francisco called me up and they said the mptf wants to fund totally fund some things around labor day and it's wonderful yeah it's, it's, great. it's very very neat that's great well you know it's it's uh it's so great to to see young people wanting to get into music yes because yes. a lot of the music programs have gone away. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're trying to do our part with that and to sort of show them. And, of course, I, in one of our things, especially in a school, I turn to my group and I say, how many of you started playing in junior high? And they all stand up because, uh, you know. That's where you start. That's where we start. Or, or, well, sixth grade, fifth grade, somewhere in there. How do they know? How does a student, a young student, know which instrument that they gravitate to? How does that happen? <laughs> Well, I, like in my case, I, I think the music teacher looked at me, and I guess my arms are a little bit long. He said, trombone would be good for you, you know. They just tell you that. Huh? You know, some, some very organized school districts have a sort of an assessment procedure. Um, and in some schools, the, the, the music teacher would go around to the classrooms and demonstrate some instruments oh. and, and say, you could play this one or this one. You know? I see. I so, see. Uh, and we would recommend this, you know, so... Uh, and, and these young students today, if they say, say they choose the trumpet, mm -hmm. then the music teacher at that particular school will work with them to get them proficient there are playing the trumpet. It's, it's a great American thing. There are wonderful mm -hmm. method books, and they're for cla a, cla a band method book. Oh. There used to be an old one when I was a kid called Easy Steps to the Band. Now there's other ones now. You can have a whole room full of Trumpets, clarinets, trombones, saxophones, and they can all play together. It's, it's in the book. And then, so it's... Now, how about piano? Piano is, some schools have a keyboard class. It's the trouble, I mean, I, I started piano privately. I was lucky, you know, but it, piano is kind of antisocial, you know. In it a, is, yeah, because you're by yourself. Yeah, so, yeah. and a lot, I mean, I got tired of practicing and being by myself, so... The, the band is, is it's a very good social thing. It gets the kids some to look forward to going to school today to see their friends in band yeah. and make a little music together. Yeah. The, the teamwork thing is so intense with the band. You it know, is. the kids yeah. really respond to it. So. That's great. What a wonderful thing. Well, I'll I tell you one other quick thing. We, Please. We're also playing for the Veterans Day Parade in Salinas. That's okay. a big civic event. And uh, one of the school district people helped us last year. At the, they were like, six or seven high school bands in the parade. And at the end, they sort of waited, and then they came out, and we all played together. Oh. So, so like, you know, 300, 250 people. Oh, that must have been <laughs> magnificent. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. Well, Carl, it's been so great to have you tonight and, and tell our folks, our viewers, and hopefully our viewers to come. When this is on YouTube, you'll be able to send the link out and get more people interested and what yeah. Monterey County Pops is Monterey doing. Monterey County Pops. And as I told you before you came on the air, I've been here 17 years. I didn't know anything about Monterey County Pops. Well, we're, 
we're trying to have more activities. So go to our website. We, we're on Facebook too, but the website we try to keep up to date. It'll have our next thing. Coming ah, okay. Every, so every, there's two. There's Labor Day and Veterans Day Parade in Salinas. Veter- that uh, there's two. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. going to be out there. Okay, great. Yeah, I want to do Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. And uh, Mr. Carl Christensen from Monterey County Pops, if you want to get more information, go to their website, montereycountypops.org. Excellent. That's Thank it. You. Thank okay, you Okay, let's much. get back to our music videos here on Monterey on tonight. And uh, the next one is this one here. Okay, those were the Bee Gees, and um, I was just asking Mason, I said, do you know their music? And she kind of went, I, yeah. I think I heard their music. I knew the song, never knew who it sang by, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what's no, amazing about music. Um, the people who were young, like Mason, they have their music, whatever it is. And, <laughs> and I'm trying to actually build... A, a spot in this show to play your music. The That'd music, be great. The music that you guys like, and then that way I can get younger people to watch. Oh yeah. See, right now this is for this probably this show's more for seniors. I'll still watch it. But that's it. why I have young people on like <laughs> you, so that way young people will watch. But I have to play some young people music, and then we'll get people to watch my. I like the time. oldies. You I do. do. Like the I'm very specific ones, but I like to yeah. sing them, yeah. Do you like country music because you like horses? Yes and no. I ah. like the older country. The newer one's kind of too pop for me. Ah. But, yes, I do enjoy it all. So do you have a favorite country artist? Oh, do I have a favorite country artist? Uh, yes, I do. Definitely Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks? Yes. You can't oh. go wrong with him. No, no, no. He's been around a while, though. He has. Yeah. You yes. must have been just a baby when you I started was, yep. listening to his music. Yep. From the day I was in my mom's womb. Yep. Oh, did you play? Did you <laughs> that's, play that's music it. for her when she was in? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all we listened to all the way. Garth into the... Brooks. Well, I'm a Garth Brooks fan Good. too. Yeah. Good. He, he, in fact, we'll go find a Garth Brooks video okay. tonight to Good. play to Good, play Good, for Good. you, just in your honor because Thank you're you. here. I'll sing along. I don't know whether I have one on the list, but we'll go find Perfect. one. Perfect. And we'll play it for you tonight. <laughs> Mason Bothwell. Yes. Miss Salinas, California, Rodeo Queen 2022. Yes. And she loves horses. I do. Yes. A fun fact about Salinas, it's actually pronounced Rodeo. Rodeo? Yes. yes. Not Rodeo. No. Rodeo. Yep. We like to keep it very traditional and old school. Oh. Yes. That's well, gee, thanks for correcting me. Welcome. I didn't know that. And not a lot of people do. Yeah. It's kind of like the one of the... There's a couple other rodeos around the rodeo. United States, but yes, yeah, Salinas keeps it very traditional, and we rodeo. like to call it rodeo. See now, there's a place down in Southern California called Beverly Hills. Yes, you ever heard I of have. Beverly? I've been there. And the main street. Yes, Rodeo Drive. Ah, yes. See that? <laughs> you know. I do. Yes, yeah. it's very beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Yes, it's really nice there. They don't say Rodeo Drive. They no. Say Who would say that? Yeah, Who would say, say that? They say Rodeo Drive <laughs> at Beverly Hills. Yes. No. It's. It's. I really like. I. It's my favorite thing about Salinas that we keep it very traditional and. Good for you. Yes. Good for you guys. Now, one more question. What is the name of your horse? My horse's name is Diesel, you know, the highest gas prices right now. Diesel. <laughs> yes. Does he does he cost a lot of money to he does. feed? He does. He does. But the ranch that I live on actually is very kind and provides um, hay for my horse, so I don't actually doesn't cost me a pretty penny like it would. Now, does he live close by you guys? Yes. So I live on a ranch called the Topo Ranch, so it's maybe a a minute drive down to the barn. So yes, it's, it's very nice. Yeah, so it's very you're convenient. Close. Easy. Yes. And how yes. often do you ride Diesel? Oh, gosh, if I'm not working and being full-time queen, I'm probably three to four times a week if I can, yes. And now because you are queen, does that mean you've got to make a lot of appearances? I do, yes. It's my it's my favorite thing is being out and about and being and able to, people. yes, meeting people and being able to represent the great sport of rodeo, yes. Well, it's I definitely can see why favorite. they chose you. Thank you. You've got that personality that, you know, she's easy to meet, right? <laughs> my goodness. Thank you. No, I, I appreciate really that. Are. Thank you. Yeah. Good choice, Marlene. My sister Marlene's in the <laughs> studio you. tonight, our music director. And uh, she said, in fact, when you were on KSBW, she sent me a text and said, you should try and get her on the show That's as so a co-host. Funny. Yeah, I love that. And here they are tonight. Yes. This is 
actually their first time here in the studio wow. and they get to meet you in person. Yes, I made a full circle. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> in fact, probably before you leave, we'll we'll get a yes. picture and then you can autograph. I have autograph cards. <laughs> you I, do? I did. I brought them for oh, you guys. Oh, great. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes. Hey, you know what? We might want to open up the phone lines. Yeah. And uh, uh, Dylan, can you put up our phone number? Uh, 831 375 1919 is our line right here. Yep, it's working. So why don't you guys give us a call? And if you'll call in, we'll let you talk to Mason. And we'll give you two free tickets to the Santa Cruz Boardwalk if you'll call us. How's that? Can I call myself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We, automatically, you have two free tickets to the yes. Santa Cruz Boardwalk. It's been Not a very a long time. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. <laughs> yeah, call us, you guys, if you're watching out there in TV land. It's uh, 831-375-1919. This is the Monterey on Tonight TV show. We're here every Sunday night from 6 to 9 o'clock. We have beautiful co-hosts like Mason <laughs> each week, a different one. And then uh, we have three guests per show. Our next guest coming up tonight is a radio guy Ooh. by the name of Mark Carbonero. Very nice. And Mark, I'll tell you, he when he talks engineering, radio engineering, there isn't anybody in this whole area that knows more about radio than Mark Carbonero. He wow. knows how to build radio stations oh, and good. has built a lot That's of them. It's a good quality to have. It, oh. <laughs> We, I don't know what we'd do without it. No, what would you do? I, I don't know. We'd have to <laughs> go somewhere else to find a radio engineer. Uh, we wouldn't want that. No, no we did not. absolutely <laughs> not. Okay, call guys, uh, 831-375-1919, and we're going to go play uh, Meatloaf. And this oh. is one that Mason didn't know. I so, might. Ooh, I don't yeah, know. <laughs> meatloaf. Well, let's go play Meatloaf and see what this video looks like. Well, that one was for Mason. That's one of her favorite yes. artists. Garth Thank you. Brooks. No, I loved it. Yeah. A little reminiscing. <laughs> and uh, we heard that at one of his concerts, there was a downpour. Yeah. And he still kept singing. That's, a true, that yeah, yeah. that's a true Nothing cowboy. Yeah. a true cowboy. Nothing stops him. That's right. <laughs> Just like you, I'll bet. Yes. Do you ride your horse when it's raining? Oh, I love to. I'm, I love the rain. So I will literally probably be standing outside without a cover on, just like he is. Really? Yeah, just soaking up the rain. Yeah. So yes. it doesn't bother you at all no. when it's raining to, to ride? No. I mean, it Isn't kind of... Isn't it more dangerous, though? Um, a little bit. It does get a little slippery, but I don't do any hard, tough ground work, so it wouldn't cause him to slip. But, you know, a nice little trail ride and... Trail ride. Yeah. Just What's a trail ride? A trail ride is just a basic little cruise down on flats and maybe a little hills, but everything's mostly at a walk or and like a little bit of a now, speed. But everything because you got to be the queen. <laughs> I'm curious. Did you have to ride the horse to be able to become your you yes, did? yes. We had oh. a horsemanship part of the competition. So oh. it is multiple maneuvers on a horse where there's circles and you'll stop and then you can do rollbacks into the fence and then you go down to a sliding stop on your horse and you dismount and you drop your bridle and you'll explain what kind of tack you're using. So yes, mm. there's a lot that goes into the horsemanship in Salinas. Goodness, I didn't yes. realize that it took so much. Yes, there there is a lot of preparation and hard work that goes into the horsemanship. Mm. Yes, that's why and, a lot of us girls love it. And the other girls that were were obviously doing the same thing as you. How many were in the competition? There was three other girls. Their name was Rose, Chelsea, and oh my goodness, and Macy. Oh, yes. Macy. Okay. Yes. And were they all local from this area? Rose was. She's actually here in the Salinas Valley. And then Macy Nunez, she's in Prather, which is up by uh, Clovis. Oh, yeah. We have Prather. Yeah. yeah. And then Chelsea Rago, she she was the sweetest thing. I loved her. Oh. I definitely loved her. Um, and she, you had never met any of these girls before? No, but the only girl that I did meet was Rose. Oh, yes. Okay. I've met her previously. So, okay. yes. Yes, she's a very sweet and girl. And when they announce the winner now, is it like... Yay, I'm the winner. Uh, I'm so happy. Or I feel sad for the other girls that they didn't win. How does that, how's that affect you? Yes. So actually what's really great about queen contests is everybody gets to win something. Oh. So no, nobody really feels out. So oh. we have first runner up, second runner up, third runner up, but we have different parts of the competition. We have, oh. we have the scholarship exam. We have appearance and personality and, you know, 
contestants' favorites, so we kind of voted upon the girls with the other contestants and ah. who is our favorite and who is most outgoing and who is the most helpful. So that was pretty, gr- pretty, pretty awesome. So none of the girls went home empty handed. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. And what did they give you so, what, other than a tiara? Maybe yeah. what, what did you get uh, oh, as, as your prize? What was your prize? So they actually gave me a red wheelbarrow to haul out all of my goodies from the contest. They did. They did. Yes, I had three truckloads of goodies. Oh, no. Yes, there were so many donations. Oh, my yes, goodness. But Boy, no wonder you entered. <laughs> yes, they are very, you knew what yes. what the prizes were going to yes, be. Yes, they were amazing. I was so excited to take them all home. Oh, yes. great. Yes, great. but I got to take home my tiara that I actually get to keep because it has my year on it. Oh, yeah. And then also my gold and silver belt buckle, which is not on right now because it's getting my name engraved on it. Oh. Yes, so hopefully I get that back here soon. I I get multiple colored sashes with nice satin sashes and I got a couple of director's chairs that have my title on them and I get a perpetual um, horse trailer that says my name and title on it for the year. Oh, no wonder you wanted to become the queen. Yes, no, it's it's awesome, kind of getting to drive down the road and everyone's like, oh my gosh, look, it's Mason. There it is. Yeah, no, it's definitely a really good feeling and they gave me so many goodies. I have um, the leather shops you see us wear. We have five pairs. Five pairs. Five pairs, yes. A lot of us queens usually so have one. We need to give thanks to somebody. Yes. Who is that lady I talked to that gave me your number? Mandy. Yes. Mandy, Mandy is the sweetest thing in the world. Yes. And yes, she is just what a sweetheart. A bubble yeah, of she light. Just, you know, I had to go to <laughs> KION. Okay. Because your picture was on their website. Oh good. So I found you through uh, oh, perfect. through the general manager of K I O N. Oh wow. She she introduced me to Mandy. Oh good. And I, w- I really want to thank her. Yes. Uh, Christy Sandiago is yes. the GM. Do you know her? I think so. Yeah, she's the GM at K I O N and and we were having lunch and so she said, Yeah, I'll get you uh, in touch with Mandy and Mandy oh, will good. get good. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's great. That, no. That's how I found you. Good. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Oh, no, but I'm all over Google now. It's, you can just type my name and Put I'm right there. Put your name in and boom, it pops right <laughs> up. Huh? It's, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So here's, here's the question now. Here's a question for you. Of all the things so far that you've done in your life, is this the most exciting? Oh, by far. By far. This puts any birthday party I've ever been to, any horse show that I've ever gone to, this the this small is the shame, yeah. This is it. Yes. Wow. Yes. How Anything great. that I've ever done, this That's is definitely great. beats you, it. You need to get out into the community and get young ladies who are in, who love horses like yes. you do, to enter next year. Oh yes, year. that is my number one goal. Hopefully, we can maybe have, you know, five, six, seven, eight girls yeah, compete. When I was yeah. younger, running for junior titles, there was actually, I think there was nine girls competed and now it's kind of uh, slowly dying out which kind of breaks my heart so hopefully we can uh, get that up and running again with uh, a lot more girls next year well you know what we can do next year before the contest you can come back on and then we'll try and help recruit girls for for that uh, that. title next year yeah because this show is all about helping people and promoting things yes that would be a great way you are you are just dynamite thank you yes absolutely <laughs> I, I i don't want to disparage any of my other co-hosts but you <laughs> are the shining light them. so far i'll tell you that <laughs> thank you no i appreciate it. it took me a really long time to kind of step out of the box i was kind of a very big introverted person but i could i could talk I, listen i don't know what happened <laughs> to you but yeah, we got to find out what water you drank from because it definitely wasn't the Salinas water. Well, we need to bottle it, whatever. It <laughs> oh was. yes, no, it was. Yeah, it took me a good long while. I had to kick my own my own butt. Really? <laughs> well, I did. did. I was kind of sucked back, and I was kind of a, a little nervous here and there, and no, then I really darling, just kind of no gave it to my all, and I was like, Ugh. you are, you are. A as I said earlier, Tony, you're a pistol. Thank you. You really are. <laughs> Thank you. All right, it's 7 o'clock here on the uh, West Coast in California. It's 10 o'clock back there on the East Coast, where hopefully you guys are watching in Atlanta. And uh, we're going to play another music video after we did Garth. Let's see. Is it the, uh, is it the Eagles, Dylan? Ah, let's go oh. do Hotel California. Oh, I know that Eagles. one. All right. <laughs> Simply Red. Simply Red, and uh, if you don't know me by now, that's uh, uh, something that Mark Carbonero 
would have played on the radio many years ago. Yes. And he was a DJ, and he's been many things. Yeah. Mr. Mark Carbonero, If you don't know welcome. me by now, and I'm trying to remember, somebody did that originally. Yes. I think back in the 60s. See? Oh, Harold Melvin. There That's you go. Right. Harold See Melvin that? and the Blue Notes. There is nothing new, is there? No. It's, it's, it's all recycled. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Mark Carbonero is my guest tonight. He is a radio broadcast engineer, but he's a lot more than that. He's actually a radio genius, and, and that's for sure. A radio junkie, too. No, well, yeah, radio junkie. And yeah. Mark and I hooked up when I got here many years ago because we had a man who has since passed, as both of us had a, a gentleman in our life by the name of, uh, you say it. Don Hoffman. Don Hoffman, yeah. yeah. What a great man. You know, he sure was. He hired me, and Mark knows this, he hired me while I was at Fort Ord back in 1962 to be an on-air DJ at KMBY on Cannery Row. That was my first mm. Monterey DJ job. And uh, we stayed friends for, I don't know, 60 years probably, yeah. 55 years, because he passed about three oh, years ago, mm -hmm. didn't he? Don Hoffman, thank you, Don, for getting me involved Absolutely. in Monterey Radio all those years ago. And I hired Don. You hired Don? <laughs> 20 years after he hired you to work oh at the very my. same radio yeah. station. Isn't that, listen, the way the story goes is Don had been out of radio for a while, uh -huh. and he uh, had come back to Monterey, and he was working at the Defense Language Institute DLI. as a recording engineer, because oh. in those days, this was the late 70s, early 80s, uh, they had uh, labs with reel-to-reel -reel machines. The old reel-to-reel -reel yeah, tapes. Yeah, the old reel-to-reel -reel tapes. And the instructors would come in, and they would record an entire class, language uh, class. Then the students would come in later, and Don would rack up the tape. And play it and for play it. them. And uh. it gave him a lot of free time. So he would listen to the radio, and he was always listening to the old KMBY 1240. Of course. And I was on in the middle of the day, oh. and he would call me, and we would talk back and forth. Oh. And um, and yeah. when I first, you know, talked to him and learned who he was, I thought I've got to get him on the air. Yeah. And I knew he would. Did you get him back on the? I did. Ah. I I convinced him to come in and do Saturday night seven to midnight uh, for a summer. And he got the radio bug again. Oh, wow. And left and went back up to Washington State. And went on the air? No, he, um, better than that for him, he went to a high school where they had a radio station and he ran the radio program. Oh, my goodness. Right. Wow. wow. And what a great man. Auburn, he was. I think it was in Auburn, Washington. Is where so, Mark was. and I go all the way back to, you know, those early days of camp. Well, not the 60s because right. he was, he I didn't was get just there till the 80s. He, yeah, he was. Yeah. He was probably in grammar school when I was <laughs> right. on the yeah. But you've been yeah. a native guy from Monterey all your life, haven't you? Well, San Jose originally. San Jose. But I came here like 40 years ago. And, then, and so Monterey's become home. Yeah, yeah, and you live here now. Yes. And yeah. I was the guy that got Mark back at KMBY Correct. two years ago. Yes. Because when Chris and Denise White became the licensee of KMBY, um, I said to to Chris, hey, you got to get a hold of Mark Carbonero because <laughs> this guy, he knows everyone. He can fix anything. Yeah. You give him a transmitter, he knows what to do. In fact, you and Ron yeah. are the guys that made the tower work again over right. on Canary Yeah, Road. Yeah, Ron Warren, who's yeah. a, a great engineer and a guy that I've learned so much from. And uh, Ron and I have worked together for a number of years. When I was working for another broadcast company in the area over in Salinas, Ron would come in and do contract work ah. for us, and that's how we became acquainted. And we ended up working on a number of projects together. And then when, when Chris and Denise bought you know, KMBY yeah, we and they wanted to get the station back on the air, there was a lot of work that had to be, to be done It had to be there. done with the tower. Correct. Because now that tower is actually sitting in Monterey Bay. Right, it's and, right at the edge of the bay. And there's, there's uh, what do you call the uh, wires that go the ground the, the grounding ground, system? Yeah, the grounding system is copper, and it goes into the bay. Um, and, and, and that was actually not the problem. It wasn't. No, no. The problem was, so, uh, uh, and you might know this, Gary, an AM radio tower, the actual entire length of the metal is what radiates the signal, whereas with FM and TV, there are actual... An antenna. Yeah, there are actual antennas that are attached to the tower that radiate the signal, but with AM... It's the entire vertical radiator. The whole radiator, tower the whole is radiating the signal. Correct. And, and the tower can't be grounded. Generally, it can't be grounded 
And so the tower sits on porcelain glass insulators. Mm -hmm. So in reality, the tower that you see down on Cannery Row is electrically sitting in the air. Oh, okay? electrically. Electrically sitting in the air. Okay. It may be attached to the ground, but electrically it's sitting in the air. But what had happened a number of years ago, there was some repair work done on the concrete base that holds up the tower legs. And the, the contractor, having never worked with AM, they went ahead and they rebuilt the base, but they built the concrete up over the insulators oh, wow. and they shorted the tower to ground. So at the time, the engineers that were there, they had to go in with chisels, with hand chisels and hammers oh, no. and chip the cement off. If they tried an air hammer and you cracked the glass insulator, that's it. You'd, you'd be out a quarter million dollars, which would be the replacement cost of the tower. Wow, so the whole tower, wow. It, it took a lot of work. Were but, you there when that was happening? No, that was about uh, 20 years ago. Oh, okay. I was in the area, but I wasn't doing that kind of work at the time. Yeah. And over the last 20 years, they've had these reoccurring issues where all of a sudden one day you're listening to the radio. If you're a listener listening, uh, and the signal seems to go away. It just goes way down in volume. Wow. And there's no strength to it. If you're sitting at the radio station and you're looking at the transmitter, you can see all these lights flashing and needles going back and forth. And what's happening is it's what's called a standing wave. And that's where the power that you're sending from the transmitter out to the antenna is returning. The antenna is rejecting it oh, and sending wow. that load back to the transmitter. Wow. And it causes all sorts of problems. See, I told you he was a radio <laughs> engineer. It's like asking him what time it is, and he tells you how to build a exactly, clock. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So so Ron and I did a lot of work on that, and more recently we had to go in and repair some areas where water had seeped in and was causing a ground. I thought, but I thought that the water and the grounding system with AEM was what made the signal Well, yeah, the, you, want, you want the water to touch the ground, but you don't want the water to touch, touch the radiating element. Oh, I see. Okay, which I is see. the vertical portion of the tower because that grounds it. You can only have one ground. One can't ground. have two. Uh, okay. I mean, you can't have the vertical. The, it's the horizontal plane that goes in the water. That's the ground, and the vertical radiator is, is to be isolated from that. Someone told me just recently that maybe it was something I read in an email that they were able to pick up KMBY in Alaska. Yes. Uh, I now, how did a, that happen? Uh, well, with AM radio waves, and this can happen with any AM radio station, um, since the Earth rotates on its axis out of round, at night, where we are, or wherever you happen to be on Earth at night, the surface of the Earth is closer to a magnetic layer called the ionosphere, which surrounds the Earth. Okay. And that ionosphere is a magnetic layer, and radio waves are electric, electromagnetic, AM radio waves are, so they are attracted to that ionosphere and reflected back hundreds and thousands of miles. So that's how it, uh, right. the beam ended up in Alaska? And Correct. someone was able to uh, record? Yeah, can be way off the air on mm -hmm. their phone, I'm sure. Yeah, During they, they sent it to yes. us, and uh, that's called sky wave reception. Sky wave, sky oh, wave wow. reception. Daytime is ground wave reception, and we don't have the ionosphere effect during the daytime. Uh huh. Only at only at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? I mean, here here's a radio engineer uh, telling you all about it. How did you get into the radio business? What was your first gig? How Man, did, how did that happen? <laughs> The first, well, I was really into it when I was a kid. That's like, I would listen like to the me. radio. I mean, yeah, if you just were, wanted to be on it, right? You wanted to be on radio. Yeah, okay. and as a DJ, uh, yes, okay. yes. Okay. But I used to like buy radio kits at Radio Shack and Heath Kit and put them together. You right? would build radio kits, correct? You know, those okay. little kits that you could buy. Now, were, were were you building the little tiny transmitters? Yes, transmitters so, and receivers. So you could go down a couple of blocks and hear your own little station, yeah, like. Like I exactly. did yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, and sometimes we'd take a, the most <laughs> rudimentary form was a walkie-talkie. Yeah. And you have the push-to-talk switch on right. it. And to keep it in, we'd put a rubber band around it to hold it so, so that it was, was transmitting. Tra tra all the time. And then we'd have our phonograph, and we would put it next to the speaker. <laughs> and then take another walkie-talkie and tune it in and see how far you oh could, you my could goodness. get. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you, was, you were definitely <laughs> one of those guys. Yeah. yeah, and but then when, a, when did you have your station in high school? That's oh, that was the other thing. We had a radio station in high okay. school, and that's really kind of where where it got we, up to speed on. Okay, it. now what was your first radio job though? Where was that? The very first on one. air on air. Oh, job. on air. 
Well, actually, <laughs> the craziest thing was, first on-air job was at a Spanish-language radio station in Gilroy, and I don't speak Spanish. So how did you know what was, was going on? I was the weekend engineer. My job was to sign the radio station on the Saturday and Sunday mornings at 6 a.m., so I'd have to crack the mic on oh. and say, this is KAZA 1290 AM Gilroy signing on the air. You say that in English. You say that in English. Okay. Because and then you it started to, Spanish programs. Because you have to give the, the legal ID, legal in, ID. In, the, in the language in, in English. Oh, Wow. Wow. City of license. That, and do you remember how old you were when you had that job? That was uh, 18 oh, or so. I good time there. to get in, huh? Yeah. 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 And you've had a career, many year career in radio, and then you've also worked in television. Right. Um, and Mark has helped us here with our Monterey on Tonight show. Uh, I mean, he is uh, a master. And that's, I, I, I mean, if I could look for the plaque that has your name on it, it would say Master <laughs> of Broadcasting. Well, that's very kind of you no, to say that. No, it's true, yeah. because you yeah. you are. You know a lot about a lot of broadcasting, yeah. uh, whether it be radio, whether it be TV. Um, you can troubleshoot. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. with TV, I more so, I enjoy TV more as a viewer. Ah. Because I don't, I, I'm not as as conversant in television broadcasting as I am in radio. So when I watch television, I'm watching it like a regular you're viewer. Just, yeah. Whereas, and you know this, yeah. because you're a TV guy for so long, yes. you can't watch a TV program without analyzing everything That's you're true. seeing. Yeah, what they're yeah. doing, how they're doing it. That's like me listening to the radio. There are all sorts of things I can pick up just from tuning in the station and listening to it. Whether it's the formatics of what they're doing or what they're doing technically. You know what's fun for me? And uh, I, I, every, I, I'm watching, I call it the big local stations, okay. KSBW, KION, right. and primarily their news, because that's the only live local that you really see here, because what we're doing is unheard of. That's correct. There's yeah. not anyone yeah. that I know of doing a live three-hour television show uh, once a week. But the newscasts, I love to watch to see when they make a mistake <laughs> and it's fun to catch them oh. well live tv any well live tv live radio you're gonna have mistakes you are yeah. and that's what makes it interesting and yes. that's what makes it fun yeah i mean you know because even as polished as they are once in a while something Some happens something slips <laughs> and i just chuckle I yeah. just go yeah. ah, ha, ha. well we we chuckle um and we do it generously because we know that we've been in that situation as well. Amen. Yeah. It happens yeah. to us. You know, when we first started out here now, nine weeks ago, uh, this was a new studio. This was all new inside. Yes. And, and we made our mistakes. I right. mean, they just well. happen because you, nothing is perfect in broadcast. There's always going to be something that's going to go wrong. And we had our share of them yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. But we pretty much ironed out those little problems now I, at the very beginning I was pounding on the desk and it was going out over the air it go bump 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 and so What's now that noise? You, yeah now <laughs> Tell I them to stop if you pounding notice the desk. I may I may put my hand on the desk but I do it very gingerly right I don't yeah. hit the desk hard <laughs> anyway it's cool. great to see you thank and you thank, thank you, you so much for coming You're in welcome. tonight and talking about our passion both yeah. you and you and me. Mark Carbonero, uh, he is in radio and television broadcast extraordinaire. Well, thank you, you really, very much, Gary. Really appreciate are. it. Thank you. Good seeing so you, buddy. Fun. Thanks so much for coming to the show tonight. I really appreciate it. We're going to get back to the music. You're watching Monterey on tonight. We're here every Sunday night from 6 to 9 o'clock. We play music videos. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, 831 Three seven five one nine one nine is our in studio telephone number. Write it down when you feel like calling. Uh, if you want to win something like uh, boardwalk tickets, let us hear from you. If you have a complaint, call and let us know. Or if you have a compliment, call and let us know. I mean, otherwise we don't know. And you can actually, I forget to do this. Go to our website, MontereyOnTonight.com, and you can email me at Gary at KMBYTV.com. And that's how you guys can watch. KMBYTV.com. We're streaming all over the world. Live. Okay, back to the music. Here's our next music video. Hi, I'm 
and shallow. I look forward to seeing you at my restaurant, Alice at the airport in Watsonville. My goal is making your dining out experience the best you've ever had. We specialize in great pastas, pizza, panini, salads, desserts, and we serve some of the best cocktails ever. Local produce and seasonal products are featured because you deserve the best. I look forward to seeing you soon. When you do, tell me you saw me on Me TV. To us, pizza the way it ought to be isn't just our slogan. It's our promise and our passion to give you the best dining experience and the best tasting pizza you expect. For over 40 years, we've been making pizza the way it ought to be. Handmade with the freshest and finest ingredients. Our dough is made fresh daily, and we use 100% whole California milk mozzarella cheese and toppings edge to edge. There's pizza, and then there's Mountain Mike's Pizza. Pizza the way it ought to be. Original Rock and Roll. Your favorite music of the 60s, 70s, and 80s with the Beach Boys and the Beatles. Along with your favorite Motown, it's all right here on KMBY. Art LeBeau Evening on KMBY. The boss of the beach, KMBY. From Cannery Row, number one, KMBY. KMBY Radio, 1240 AM. We talked about it earlier with Mark Carbonero, 95.9 FM. And I'll bet you can get KMBY 1240 AM in King City. Probably. I'd have to look it up. Yeah, check it out on your yeah. on your Jeep. she got a beautiful Jeep. Jeep. I do. Just bought it. 12, <laughs> did you just got it? I did. 1240 AM, uh, KMBY. And, of course, when you're here in the Monterey area, you listen to FM 95.9. This is Mason Bothwell. <laughs> she is the rodeo, is I, did I say it right? Rodeo? Rodeo. Rodeo. Yes. She's the rodeo queen for Selena's for 2022. And I was just quizzing her when we were off air about maybe she can even become a higher degree. Yes. What are the next levels for you if you want to do it? So there's actually two more levels. I can take Miss California Rodeo Salinas title to Miss Rodeo California, which is actually being held this year in October. So Whereabouts? In San Luis. San Luis Yes, Obispo. I think in um, Lancaster usually. I think oh, it's like okay. down south a little bit more. But, oh. yes, I'm very excited to head that way, and I get to go as visiting royalty, as we call it. Oh, visiting yes. royal. Yes. So that's what I'm going to go do this October. I'm not too sure on the dates yet, but I'll figure them out. Somebody's got good. the dates. Good, 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 good. And, and then, you'll take mom with you. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's got to yes. be your chaperone. Yes, she is. She loves to do it. but She likes to do it. Gives her a chance to get out of town. <laughs> yes, gives her a chance to get out of work. Out of, oh, out of work. Oh, I yes. see. I mean, we all love to get out of work some yeah, days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and Mason was telling me when she worked up in Livermore, she worked at a uh, airport. I did, yeah. Yes. And she was able to get a free ride in a private jet down yes. to Los Angeles. All by myself. And it was really cool because the seat moved out to the center and I could recline all oh, the way back. Wasn't that wonderful? <laughs> no, it, it was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and it was probably only 35 minutes? I think, yeah, maybe 40. 40 yeah, minutes. 40 minutes, yeah, from flying to Livermore. Well, from Livermore, Livermore to, to, to L.A. What, I think what we, airport did you land at? I think it was Orange County. Orange County. Yeah. And so I took an Uber to Long Beach. Yeah. Yep. And then how'd you get home? I think I flew back on my own. <laughs> so you went commercial. To I did, back. yes. But I mean, That's I couldn't pass good. up. No, but I couldn't pass up the free, oh, free yeah. private jet oh, ride. Anytime. anytime. It was really nice because it was storming out and you had the lightning. Oh, yeah, it was, it was pretty was cool. It? What a great experience it was, for a young yeah. lady. Never pass up good opportunities. No, private no. jet. She yes. had a, just like a movie star. Private it, it jet. It was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Lots of fun. Yeah. yeah it's been great to have you here Thank tonight. Thank you. No, yeah, we're having a ball, aren't we? Yes, this is definitely have, one of my highlights as queen so far. Oh, well, good. Yes, good, good, making good. Good, good, good. video appearances. Did Mom, did you get some pictures? Oh, good. Yeah, we <laughs> wanted to make sure we get pictures so we can yes. remember this. Yes. Yeah. Very big memory saver on pictures. So. Good, good, good. Yes. Well, that's what you go back and say, oh, I remember this and I remember that. And yes. Wasn't that fun and so forth. Yeah, yeah. so it's really cool about Salinas is they actually give you a leather scrapbook. Oh. And it says Miss California Rodeo Salinas 2022 across it. And I get to 
fill it with all of my memories oh, and memory. little badges I get to keep oh, and little great. goodies so I get to fill it out throughout you know, my whole year. You're here early, but I will have to mail you one because <laughs> I'm getting Monterey on Tonight coffee mugs. Oh, I love They're my coffee. They're not here yet, but I'm going to send you a Monterey on Tonight coffee mug yes. that, you know, you'll have a memento of being yeah. on this show. And I'll that's keep it right next to my scrapbook. There you go. <laughs> and you can look at my caricature because that's going to be on the coffee mug. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. That's a hard word to say. Caricature. Caricature. <laughs> caricature. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm excited. I was Thank on you. Monterey on tonight with Gary Morris. <laughs> yeah, and here's my coffee mug. Yeah. Drink it in the morning when yeah. hopefully and, we finally get rain. You'll, you'll think of tonight. Yeah, I will. The night I was here on the show with yes. Gary Morris. I'm excited. I love yeah. my coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra well, creamer. And I like coffee too. How do you drink your coffee? With extra, extra creamer. <laughs> extra, extra You can't creamer. even taste no the sugar? coffee at that point. No, no sugar. No, it's Just either vanilla, hazelnut. Oh, yeah. you're one of those. Yeah. 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 I'm, I like my sweets. Yeah. Well, good for you. That's There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. I think you I know had what, a little too what much. what I like when it comes to <laughs> sweets? What's that? Seize candy. Ooh, yeah. yes. The ones with the marshmallows in them and uh, the chocolate. Any any kind They're of so seeds good. candy. Yes. And you know, um, a couple of weeks ago, it was my birthday. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. And I, thank you. And <laughs> I got seeds candy from Ooh. two people. And that was the greatest Just gift. Just sat there and ate in bed. And, and in fact, <laughs> my favorite seeds candy is a Bordeaux. A Bordeaux. Bordeaux. And they are great. I've never heard of that. What oh, is that? Oh, next time you're in seeds candy. Okay. Tell them, can I have my sample as a Bordeaux? Okay. And see what they say. They're so like, they'll huh? give you one, sure. <laughs> and then you'll say, oh, that was Gary Morris's favorite. Oh, that, that sounds Bordeaux. so good. And they have light chocolate and dark chocolate Bordeaux. Oh, I'm not a big dark chocolate person. Not, well, then they no. have light chocolate. Okay, good. Light I'm chocolate. Good. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're both good, but okay. if you like light chocolate, that's why they make both kinds. Perfect. I'm for excited. For people like you. Yes. Who wants people light chocolate. People like me. Yep. <laughs> We're having fun, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we're having so much fun. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go play some more music for you out there in TV land. Uh, give us a call. 831-375-1919. We put you on the air. We'll chat with you. Uh, even give you some tickets for the boardwalk. So call uh, <laughs> if you can. If you're out there, please do. And we'll play some more music. And let's see. The last one was James, uh, no, John Tesh and James Ingram. Hmm. And this should be Goodbye by Kenny Rogers. Am I right, Dylan? Okay. Ah, okay. So Kenny Rogers, Goodbye. And this is kind of a sad song. Okay. You have to listen to the lyrics. Okay. I'll do that. Because it's like, you know, I think it's like if you're going to go to the other side, oh. that kind of goodbye. But let's see. Play the music and we'll be right back. <laughs> And Mason, that was the original video for Top Gun 1. Yes. And the new one is Top Gun Maverick. Now, have you seen Maverick? I did. It you was did. so good. I almost shed a tear, but don't tell anybody. Really? It was it was really good. We watched it at the King City Movie Theater, and we sat right King up front. King City has a yes, movie theater? they do. The tiny little town in the world, yep. How, how many screens? Oh, I think there was like three. <laughs> three or four screens. <laughs> there was. We had probably every... Every elderly person in King City came on a Sunday and watched it with us. And I was probably uh, the only person in there. And we uh, were all laughing and chit-chatting. But yeah, no, it was a really good movie. There was probably maybe 15 seats in there. Well, you know, <laughs> I had to make a choice one night because I had friends in town. So are we going to go watch Elvis or are yes. we going to go watch Top Gun Maverick? And so we chose Elvis. I'm sorry. Was it I good? Did. Well, you know, now look. <laughs> they made the movie Elvis for somebody like you. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because it's the story of his life. And obviously, you weren't around when Elvis was here. And so, because I was here when Elvis was here, I know all the stuff that they were doing I think in it was movie. maybe a thought when he passed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he passed in 76. That's way... Yeah. Maybe no, a no, thought. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you weren't probably a thought. I'll have to ask oh, mom. No. no. See, she said no. She's like, uh. But um, <laughs> if, you look at, if you look at the movie uh, Elvis today, and then you look at Top Gun Maverick, I think it was a no-brainer, but we chose the wrong movie. Yeah. Because I think Maverick would have been 
a great movie it was, to watch. It was really good. I haven't seen it yet. I, I really want to go see it. Oh, yes. It. You, you said it was fantastic. It was. There was a, a certain gentleman in there that all the girls are oh, going yeah. oh, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. But, yeah, I really want to see the new Elvis movie. I, everyone, I've well, said it's it, so Well, it's, it's really a, a good movie. I mean, I love his music. Um, if you've heard Elvis from... Yes. You know, Elvis's music is so great. And it's really the story of how he started out and how he met Colonel Tom Parker. They kind of ruled yeah. his life, played by Tom Hanks. And um, it was it was good. It was interesting. But about halfway through, I went and got popcorn. <laughs> You're like, ah. Because I already knew what was going on. So yeah. it was no surprise. No. So now, did they ever make an, like, um, an Elvis movie ever before this? Yeah, but it wasn't to the degree. Okay. I mean, this young man, Austin, whatever his name is, that, sure. Uh, do you know what his name is? I know what he looks like. No idea what his name is. Um, we'll f- <laughs> I'll find out uh, when we come back. But everybody knows who we're talking about. He really got into the role. I, that I heard, He yes. lived and breathed Elvis for like two years before mm-hmm. they made the movie. So he really did a great yes. job. Really he did a great job. And when you're doing a story like a guy who's passed, um, that's really the only way you're really going to get into the character Oh, yeah. Is to live it, and he did. Yes. Yeah, he met Priscilla and, and um, really got to know her well and got a lot of insight. Yeah, I uh, have to actually break down and go on Amazon Prime and pay the twelve ninety nine to actually watch it. Is it twelve ninety one? It is so expensive right now. No. Yeah, really? it's just because it just came out, so uh, everything's well, wait very a while. expensive. I know, but wait I can't a, wait. No. Wait a while. Save the money. I'm a very impulsive person. i got to do it now. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, it's true. I yeah. mean, you earn your money, and you can yeah. spend it any way you want. Exactly. And if you want to go see Elvis and pay Amazon twelve ninety nine, you can do that. Exactly. I can just go up to my dad and be like, hey, Dad, can I borrow your credit card? And <laughs> I'll never know. $12.99 yeah. so we can see Elvis. But then, you know, if you, if you do that, get a lot of people to come. Exactly. And then you can break down the twelve ninety nine into how many people are watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only $2 because look at all the people. Yeah, there. or make it a little, you know, a B-O-B-O-A-B or whatever it's called. Bring your own whatever. Popcorn, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, bring popcorn and sodas and snacks and kind of make it like a whole movie yeah. day. Yeah. Have a movie night. Yeah. Sure. And Elvis is a good choice. Yes. But I want to go see Top Gun Maverick. Yes. Definitely. I, I, but think, I think you made the best choice. Uh, yes. It, w- it was definitely a good choice. No, it, it was very good because the King City had now the Now, you told me something. You said that you had not seen the original Top Gun before you <laughs> saw this Top Gun. Was that a mistake? Y- y- no. no. It, it was, I just didn't watch it. I just was like, Do what you have that? any desire to see the original? Oh, topic? yeah. I have to now to see yeah. how the second one really played out because I guess it really tied in all together. Yeah, they did. So they, they, they did. I got to really wanted, go back and watch that because they wanted to kind of bring it together so that, you know, it'd have a great story. Yeah. Do you know they they actually waited three years because of COVID to That's release what, that yeah. movie? Did you know they were having copyright issues that were pressed against them no, too? No. Yeah. No, there, yeah, there was a huge scandal about it. I didn't yeah. know that. See, you, yeah. see what you find out on this show. Yeah, on the internet. <laughs> well, yeah, but you saw it, I did, and you. Uh, yeah. So you're putting the news out there for yeah. us. They don't have to watch KSBW or KION. No, you to, just get it to find straight out from the here. News. Monterey on tonight. <laughs> yep. This is your greatest news source right here on exactly. the Monterey Peninsula. Yeah. With Mason, and you know what? When my sister was in here, she said you would make a great TV anchor. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm too giggly for that. No, you could be serious, couldn't you? <laughs> no. You couldn't be <laughs> See, serious? I just, I just broke out in the laugh. You couldn't be serious? <laughs> Tell a serious story? Once upon a time. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no. I could probably do children's books. Well, you could do a, a narrator. You could do a children's TV program. Probably. Yeah, They'd probably that, enjoy it. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know there's need. Yeah. There's a need for people. Yeah, and I love children, so. Perfect. Then you would be great. Yeah. Do a kids show. Maybe I'll hit up the local schools and I can read to the kindergarten. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. Let's yeah. talk to Mandy about that. Let's talk to Mandy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mandy, for loaning yes. Miss Mason tonight. Yeah. Really Thank nice you, Mandy. You. <laughs> really nice of you. I appreciate it. Yeah. She's made our evening here at Monterey on tonight. I can tell you. <laughs> She'll that. be happy to hear that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> It's absolutely true. Okay, yes. let's see. What's on the list here, Dylan? Uh, Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. All right. Oh. Celine Dion. Is that one called, uh, what is it? The Power of Love. 
Power of Love. Oh. Let's go play Celine Dion. It's eight oh three on a Sunday night. So that's wow. the real Elvis. Okay, a lot different from the new one. Yeah, the new one, <laughs> is, yeah, it kind of looks like him. I think so. But uh, that was the real Elvis from that's... God. I think that was. Well, he died in '76, so that was probably in the '60s. I might have to steal his outfit. Nineteen, yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> it is great. 1968, <laughs> I think that video was shot in Las Vegas oh. at the International Hotel oh, wow. before it became Las Vegas Hilton, and now it's not even Las Vegas Hilton. Interesting. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Have you been to Vegas? Mm. Mm. I think. <laughs> I think I have. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you're I old enough to gamble. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not good at it. Not good at it. I go to the the penny slot machines or the quarter ones. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a tip someone okay. gave me when I was your age. They said if you want to win in Las Vegas, this is how you do it. Okay, I'm listening. Don't go. No, no. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that, but not quite. Figure out how much money. You're willing to lose. None. Okay. <laughs> but 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 there, you can also make money. Oh yeah. You got to think about the amount. Okay. So if I want to lose a hundred dollars, yeah. Let's say. Okay. So you go to Vegas with a hundred dollars in your pocket, and you keep that hundred dollars in your pocket or your purse, and you go and do all of the things that have nothing to do with gambling. Okay. Maybe you want to go lay out by the pool and get a tan. Yeah. Maybe you want to go shopping because they have great shops in Vegas. I mean, all, all the name brands are there. You go shopping. Let's go see a show. Okay? Let's go see whoever's there. Yeah. Okay. Now you're getting ready to leave. Now, do you know what the roulette table looks like? No. Well, the roulette table has a bunch of numbers. Okay. 36 numbers. And then it has a little square that's black and a little square square that's red. Okay. So you take that $100 out of your pocket or your purse, and you wait till the coup d'oeil spins the wheel. And then you put your money on whichever you think it's going to be, red or black. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think it's going to be red. Oh, no. And the little wheel goes around and click, and it's red. Oh. You've just made $100. So you know what you do? You pick up the hundred dollars with the hundred dollars that you put down. Now you doubled got two hundred. You doubled your money, and you leave yep. Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Don't try to go back and do it again. No. Now <laughs> no. there's one part that a lot of people don't understand about the roulette table. There's a slot that is O, and another slot on the other side that's double O. Okay. If the ball goes in either one of those slots, you lose. Oh. Because that makes the odds, the house odds. Okay. That's why most people lose. That would be me. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Oh. You don't know. Oh. You just don't know. You can spin that ball and it could be red. But the key is pick up the money and leave. Mm -hmm. Do not play anymore. It gets dangerous when you keep going and staying. That's, well, that's how they win. Yep. That's, 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 how, that's how they get you. Yeah. My friend Ashley, she was just there a couple months ago and probably five minutes of her being in there she went to a slot machine won five grand and she uh, she was the smartest she, thing she, she left she, there you go yeah, but her boyfriend at the time was like no let's go let's double it and she's yeah. like no no <laughs> no, no smart no. girl <laughs> smart girl yeah yep. that's how they get then, you oh let's go make some more you know what she did with that five grand what did she do she bought a horse <laughs> Hey, good for her. And then she sold it and then doubled her money that way. Oh, yeah. wow. What a so, smart girl. Entrepreneur. Maybe we should have her on this Yeah. Show. No, she would love that. What's her name? <laughs> Ashley O'Brien. She lives uh, in Oakdale. Ashley O'Brien. Yes. Oakdale. That's up by Fresno. Yeah. Not oh, far. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, you call her and tell her yeah. when she's over here coming to this area to see you. Yes. We'll put her on as a co-host. Yeah, no, she, yeah. She would definitely love that because she okay. buys and sells horses. She trains them. So. Uh, good for yeah. her. Yeah. yeah no. what, now, you just said she sold a horse. Yes. Do you know how much she sold that horse horse for? <sighs> Gosh, maybe 8500 mm. Yeah. So she, she I mean, a she. a nice profit. Yeah. And then she takes that and she in, goes and buys feed for the other horses that she's got. And then when she's ready to sell those horses. How many horses does she have? Too many. <laughs> too many. I told her to stop, but she said she can't. It's an addiction. Um, horses are an addiction. An expensive are they really? an addiction. Uh, I've, I've been telling uh, Audra. 
gotcha. that, you know, so that, who she, uh, Grandpa, I want a horse. Well, she can go talk to Ashley. Okay. We got we have a mini pony right there. A mini pony. Yes, and she also has a, a mini cow. You know, I just saw, <laughs> I was just kind of watching some of Olivia Newton-John's life. Yeah. And when she lived on her California ranch, she had two little ponies. I'm wanting ones. to buy a mini donkey. Mini. So bad. Really? Yeah. Are they expensive? They're they're like two grand. Oh, wow. They can go buy them at an auction, but mm. my mom doesn't really want that kind of a wake-up alarm, so... <laughs> Because they make a lot of noise in the morning. They scream. They They do. Have you ever ridden ridden a donkey? I have not. But there's a difference between a donkey and a mule, even though their ears are really big. Wow, wow. See, I'm learning all this stuff tonight because of you. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, there's a a donkey and a mule. Yes, we have donkeys that are kind of on the shorter side. Then we have mules that are used for endurance and pack and trail riding and mountains. And those horses that you take on hunting trips, those are the the sure-footed horses. So That's great. That's great. The mini donkeys are just kind of there to cuddle. Thank you, Mason. Thank you so much. What what an education I'm getting on this show. Of course, yeah. No, I love to educate. So I educated you about Vegas. Yes. $100 on the red or the black. You pick. Yep. But then if you hit it. Get that two hundred dollars and get out of yep. town. And then I, I taught him where to take his money and go buy a horse. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play some more music. We're waiting for our last guest, who's coming in from San Jose tonight, Woo. where he was involved in a concert. Huh? I say involved. He was entertaining in San Jose. Anthony Lane. I hope he makes it in time before we go off the air. But we'll be here waiting for you, Anthony. So yes, come we on will. in. Let's play some more music, Dylan. What do we have? Um, Barry um, Manilow? This is... No, yeah, Engel, I, Engelbert? Yes, I was... Ah, Engelbert. Yeah, that's right. We played the... <laughs> all right, Engelbert Something. Humperdinck. <laughs> yes. Please release me. Let me go. Okay. Okay, we're back, and I'm see. texting my next guest, who is Anthony Lane, because Anthony uh, is a performer, and he was up in San Jose tonight, and he sent me a text earlier and said oh. I don't know whether I'm going to make it because of the traffic Ugh. getting out of the auditorium yep. and so what I'm saying to him is if he's too far out uh, I can call him yeah. and we can put him on yeah. via the phone so we can't do a zoom call but yeah. anyway let's so see if you are doing traffic is really crazy where he's coming from yeah. so let's see what happens we'll uh, Anthony Lane he's the owner of the Fox Theater Ooh. in Salinas oh and they have a lot of big acts there. You know who I saw there? Who? About three months ago. You probably don't know the name of the group. <laughs> ABBA. Mm. No. See. No. Maybe. No. I'm better well, with faces. No. Listen. <laughs> ABBA was a group from like 30 years ago. So I, Okay. I, but their music <laughs> is even popular today because oh, wow. they had like a resurgence. So what they did, what Anthony did at the Fox Theater is he had the tribute oh. band ABBA. Okay. And they looked just like the originals. You know, it could have been a knockoff group. Mm-hmm. They call them knockoffs. Yeah. And it was fantastic. Oh, good. Fantastic. And when you hear their music, it's just, you know what? Let's go dig an ABBA song out just for the heck of it. Yeah, why not? Dylan, I need to hear yeah. who let's these do, great um, people are. Let's do their big hit. Um, let me find uh, <laughs> ABBA here. Uh and then what we can do is we can have Dylan find it, yeah. ABBA, okay, ABBA. and they and they mm-hmm. had lots of hits. They were a 70, 70s group. Okay. Okay. A B B A. Sounds familiar. Yeah. When you when you I might them, I might know a your song mom or two. Will, your mom will know. My this mom might. Yeah. A B B A. So let's see what their big hits were. Um, uh, Dancing Queen. Oh, yep. All right. I know that Go song. find Dancing Queen. <laughs> the if one you the will, middle. Abba. Is now. Uh, Dylan, and we'll play Dancing Queen. And this is going to be dedicated to Mason because Mason wasn't even <laughs> a twinkle in her mom's eye when this song was a hit. Oh, yeah. Many, many years ago. But you're going to like it. It's this still song. a hit now. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. There's a world so out there. Tell me when you're ready, Dylan. Right. Let's go play <laughs> ABBA. Hey, we're back, and uh, Mason is, uh, <laughs> I'm back and here. I are talking about sci-fi stuff, Ugh, but we can't we can't talk about it on the it's, air because then they classified. Say, yes, it is classified. <laughs> it's top secret. 
sci-fi. Well, it looks like our guest, Anthony Lane, the owner of the Fox Theater, is not going to make it tonight. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he'll be pulling up any minute. But he left San Jose where he was involved in a concert tonight because he has a band. And I guess the traffic was a little heavy leaving the concert. Mm -hmm. So he said he thought he was going to be able to make it, but... Oh, well, we'll have him back on. Next time. Yeah, we'll have him back on another (laughs) time. And that gave Mason and I a chance to keep it a little longer tonight. Yes, got to know Gary and uh, see how the show is ran. And it's definitely a a lot different from watching from home. Yeah, watching from home is, is, you know, you just see the screen, you hear the music, and a little bit of banter. Yes, but I got to see. It's now you're here, you're live. Yes. Yeah, it's different, huh? It is, but it was really cool to see how this whole show is ran, and there's cameras and actions and role plays and yeah. breaks for music. And, and so, Dylan. Yes, Dylan. and Dylan, the man behind the, the magic. Ma- that's right. He's, <laughs> he's, he's the one that does all the magic. Yes. Makes it all work. Yes. Makes our show our yeah. show roll. <laughs> it's 847, Dylan. Let's see. If we go to uh, uh, Boss Skaggs, maybe? Let's play Boss Skaggs and come back oh. and see what happens after this one. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Shalo. I look forward to seeing you at my restaurant, Ellis at the airport in Watsonville. My goal is making your dining out experience the best you've ever had. We specialize in great pastas, pizza, panini, salads, desserts, and we serve some of the best cocktails ever. Local produce and seasonal products are featured because you deserve the best. I look forward to seeing you soon. When you do, tell me you saw me on Me TV. To us, pizza the way it ought to be isn't just our slogan. It's our promise and our passion to give you the best dining experience and the best tasting pizza you expect. For over 40 years, we've been making pizza the way it ought to be. Handmade with the freshest and finest ingredients. Our dough is made fresh daily and we use 100% whole California milk mozzarella cheese and toppings edge to edge. There's pizza and then there's Mountain Mike's Pizza. Pizza the way it ought to be. Original rock and roll. K-F-E-Y. Your favorite music of the 60s, 70s, and 80s with the Beach Boys and the Beatles. What you want it to be. Along with your favorite Motown. It's all right here on KMBY. Art LeBeau Evening on KMBY. The boss of the beach, KMBY. From Cannery Row, number one, KMBY. Well, Anthony Lane called, and he apologized for not being able to make it tonight. He was our third-hour guest. Yep. Got caught in traffic out of San Jose at the concert where he was performing with his band. He's also the owner of the Fox Theater in Salinas. So what we're going to do is invite him back, obviously, and have him on when he's closer to town. And um, we'll introduce you to Mr. Anthony Lane at that time. I want to thank Mason Bothwell so much. Absolutely <laughs> one of the joys of doing this show to have you on the air with me. Well, thank you, you for having me. You, you are, you're going to go far. Thank you. you. Really I hope are. so. <laughs> yeah, you are. And it was just wonderful to have you on the air and be my co-host for tonight. So we're going to go out playing a video. Yes. We can say good night to everyone now. Yes. You want to say good night to everyone? Good night, everyone. Enjoy your sleep on a Sunday night. That's right. And thank you guys for watching. We'll be back next Sunday night at uh, 6 o'clock till 9 o'clock. Yeah. And right now, to say good night to all of you, here is Michael Buble. Good night, everyone. Good night.